Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here. Welcome to another session of Prayer 2021 for today, which is May 5th. Our scripture reading for today is from Genesis chapter 32, verse 11. Save me, I pray, from the hand of my brother Esau, for I am afraid he will come and attack me and also the mothers with their children. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We praise you that we are able to pray to the Most High God for protection, for provision, just the fellowship. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to pray. We thank you for this study where we're learning different aspects of prayer on a daily basis all year long. Father, we thank you for the privilege of being in the body of Christ. And Father, we thank you for all this was done through Christ Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, whose we are and whom we serve. And Father, to you we give honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Today we're going to study a little bit about binding and loosing. Now, Jesus says something in Matthew chapter 18 about prayer that believers need to understand in order to have a, a, a more successful prayer life. And he said, Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Here Jesus is talking about the prayer of agreement and the prayer of binding and loosing. We covered the prayer of agreement previously, and I said back then that I would cover binding and loosing separately. And this is the point in our study of prayer that I think we should go over it. As I said, Jesus is bringing out the fact that heaven will back us up in what we pray on earth. In Jesus' name. Amen? Now, remember, when we covered the importance of praying in the name of Jesus, we, we talked about that. And we have the authority in the name of Jesus to loose the power of God on this earth and to bind Satan and his operations against us. We have the authority in the power of agreement to ask for what we need, knowing that it shall be done for us. Amen? I've already covered the importance of believing you receive when you pray. But in Matthew 21, Jesus said something else about prayer. We have discussed this previously and looking at Mark 11, 23, and 24. But now, let's look at Matthew 21, verse 18 to 22. Now in the morning, as he returned into the city, he hungered. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it, and found nothing thereon but leaves only, and said to it, or one translation says, and answered it, let no fruit grow on you henceforward forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is this fig tree withered away? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If you have faith and do not doubt, you shall not only do which is done to this fig tree, but also you could say to this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and it shall be done. All things, whatsoever you ask in prayer, believing, you shall receive. Jesus is talking about prayer here. He's talking about faith and prayer. You cannot well talk about faith without talking about prayer too. It's impossible. And you can't talk about prayer without talking about faith either. Amen? The two go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Amen? Don't shut me down when I'm preaching. Good glory to God. Hallelujah. Mark 11 records this same incident. In fact... It is the only reference to prayer in the book of Mark. Mark is saying the same thing as recorded in Matthew 21. Matthew just summarized it in about five verses, and he got straight to the point. Amen? Tomorrow we'll look at this again, but I'll look at it from Mark's perspective again. Amen? I want to pray with you right now that you would start binding the devil, his demons, and those under his authority through the power and the authority of the name of Jesus whom we are and whom we serve. Amen? Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for this wisdom you've given us. I thank you for this authority you've given us, authority to bind the devil and his co-henchmen here on this earth. Father, thank you in Jesus' name 
for making it all possible. Jesus, thank you for teaching us that all things are under our control here on this earth. If we just stand in faith in the word of God and in the power and the authority you have already given to us, already given to us. This is nothing new. This has already been accomplished in heaven and in earth. And we thank you for it. We praise you for it. We pray for more wisdom and more understanding as we study your word that we can walk in the authority you have given us as children of the most high God on this earth. And to you, Father, we give honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Shout amen, somebody. Glory to God. Do me a favor, leave a rating down below or comment down below and jump over on iTunes for about two minutes. Look up Prayer 2021 on, on the iTunes store. Click on it and leave us a rating and review there. These things really do help. It helps to get the word out into all the earth. And I, I, I thank you for your assistance in helping us to do that. And be sure to visit our website at podcastsforchrist.com. Take a look around. If you have a podcast, you're a Christian, you have a podcast, we have marketing programs there to help you promote it. Uh, we have hosting programs. If you're looking for a Christian host, we have all sorts of things. We have free resources right there. You can download that, how to launch a Christian podcast right there on the front page as well. It's all at podcastforchrist.com. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today. It's Pastor Bob reminding you again from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, the Living Bible, to always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Be blessed in all that you do.